Spots of YouTube, happy Saturday, my hacksers. And yes, again, guys, I apologize. No PIP narration, but I had exams and I was just tired to come home and narrate. Uh, work has been taking a shit on me. Just my personal life in general taking shits on me all over the place. So please bear with me. Uh, I'm off of school until the 25th, so PIP narration will be back next week. I promise you guys that. And yeah, guys, I also have an interesting, well, not interesting, but I have a question at the end of the video. So please stick around for that. And this battle was against iFox Cloudeye. Now, this is back when Chansey was in UU, so don't bash him for that in the comment section below. But um, yeah, his channel link will also be down in the description, so make sure to go check him out as I'm going to be leading off my music. Who's going to be leading off with Sharpedo. Now, I'm confident in my Mew being able to take a crunch after uh, being uh, minus two attack because I'm going to go for the will -O But he actually opts to go on to Chansey. Now, I'm going to go for the taunt because uh, Chansey can basically do nothing for me. I prevent him from getting up his rocks. I prevent him from wishing for, for going for a status move. Now, this is what basically this Mew does. It cripples my opponent to make sure he does not get up his own entry hazards because I do not have a rapid spinner on this team and entry hazards can definitely be a bit of a problem. So, he's actually going to opt to switch out to his Victini as I'm going to go for the taunt. Now, I'm not too sure if this is a physically based Victini or especially based Victini, but um. I'm just gonna stand knowing I can possibly take maybe a V create and hopefully go for the soft mode, but he actually reveals to be special because he does carry the grass knot. Now, the fact that he's gonna switch out this turn is telling me that he's locked into the grass knot because I'm gonna go for the will o wisp as he brings in Shaman. Now, I am so happy I was able to burn this damn Shaman because Subseed Shaman is honestly a giant fucking nuisance to deal with. And it is a bit of an issue to get around with with this team, but it's not really that problematic. If I still have my Mew and I can get off a taunt and possibly burn it. And he's going to go for the Seed Flare. Now, I'm just going to stand because I want to get some extra residual damage with the Will-O-Wisp. And um, knowing I can take Seed Flare for days because I believe Seed Flare is only 8 HP. Not 8, 8 PP, I believe. But unfortunately, he gets the minus 2 special defense drop on my Mew this turn. Because I'm pretty sure that Seed Flare is minus 2 special defense, not minus 1 special defense. So I don't want to stand because I know I can not take another one so i'm going to take this opportunity to switch on to my chandelure i'm um, hoping he would go for another sea flare but no he does make a good prediction and goes for the earth power but luckily since i am max hp i will be able to live this earth power now that automatically should have told him that i am not scarf but um He's actually going to take this chance to switch out. Now, I am bluffing the Scarf, and I'm hoping he does switch out, which luckily he does. So he's going to go into his chance, and I'm going to hit this thing with a modest, stabbed, life orb flame fire blast. And that's just going to utterly annihilate the chancy and now this is back when my chandelure was a trick room set and even if i had not got that burnt i still would have been able to outspeed the chancy and kill him off with a fire blast as he brings in hanshkar now since like i said i'm trick room i'm not going to be able to outspeed the hanshkar and maybe he could be scarfed so i'm going to take this opportunity to switch onto my suicune because i don't want him getting in that plus one with moxie because hanshkar after plus one with moxie is definitely definitely a scary scary ass thing ah so, I take the Brave Bird, not as well as I hoped I would, but I do get a very good chunk of residual damage on the, um, on the Honchkrow as he's going out to Weezing. Now, I'm just going to keep going for Skull because I have faced Weezings before, but I have not faced them in UU, and I'm pretty sure they do the same thing in UU as they do, like, down in NU, so I know he's just probably going to go for a Thunderbolt or a Will-O-Wisp as he just did go for, but even if he went for Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to take that easily and lived it. So, I'm just going to take this opportunity to go for another Scald, as unfortunately, I am going to get a crit, but next turn, I would have just gone for another Scald and KO'd him. And, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that that crit did not matter, but if it did, then I do apologize, because Weezing does completely counter my hair across, which, um, I could have switched in to and that been walled by that, but whatever. So, now I know he's gonna go for Substitute, but... I just wanted to switch on to my Chandelure on the off chance that he did go for the Seed Flare, so he won't be behind a Substitute when I can bring in one of my attackers, which would have been Heracross, but no, he does get up a Substitute, which means my Chandelure is basically screwed because I'm not going to be able to live the Earth Pirate. I can never use Chandelure correctly. Why? Oh my god. Ah. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go on to my uh, Porygon 2. As I know I can absolutely take anything that he wants to throw at me as he goes for the Seafer because honestly, Max Special Defense Evil Light um, Porygon 2 is just disgusting. Oh my god. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam, easily break the substitute because I did get a crit. But honestly, uh, you will see that that crit does not matter. And I was pretty, and I was positive that that crit did not matter because Porygon 2 have like 383 Max Special Attack, I believe, which is just utterly disgusting. Oh my god. And this thing being a special wall. Oh, oh Porygon 2, I want to jizz. Just. For your pure epicness now i'm gonna get a bunch of comments of that fuck you guys <laughs> now i'm just playing so he's gonna go back onto victini and ice beam does a eh, pretty decent chunk of damage i was happy with that as i'm gonna go into my mew knowing i can take a fire blast but unfortunately he is going to burn me which uh the fact 
uh, why I switched out to Mermi was in the off chance and maybe he went for the Focus Blast because I didn't want my Porygon 2 to take that extra damage when I still have Mermi, which easily is just dead fodder at this point as I'm going to go for the Soft Bolt and the off chance that maybe he missed the Fire Blast. But if you guys saw my my last PIP upload, which I believe was Battle 78, you will see how how great my luck is with fucking Fire Blast. So he's going to go to Sharpedo now. I'm going to scout if he's got the Protect or not because... Well, fuck, he's got Protect. Because now, if I allow him to get up the plus one speed, he can easily outspeed my Needle King and he can easily outspeed my Heracross, which are two of my... Uh, which are the two sweepers on this team. But I do have my Suicune, so as long as he's not carrying the possible Hidden Power Grass, I do not have any fears of switching my Suicune into the Sharpedo and going for a rest and um, eventually sleep talking, maybe a Roar or a Scald, which I am going to proceed to do because I know I can take a um, uh, Crunch, but he actually goes for the Protect. I guess just scouting one than what I wanted to go for, as the Will-O-Wisp that he went for earlier with his Weezing is completely useless because I do go for the rest and I am Rest Talk, Roar, and Scald which I believe is the most standard Suicune set because honestly Suicune is a fucking monster. So I'm just gonna stay and go for the uh, Sleep Talking. Oh my god! Why did I not get the Scald Burn? I wanted to get the freaking Roar so badly. Because if I had got the Roar, I could have roared him out, then roared him back in, and he would have died off to the um, Stealth Rocks. But no, now I'm forced to switch out to my Porygon 2, which is going to be forced to take the uh, Seed Flare, which luckily he does not get the minus 2 in Special Defense. So I am going to be able to live the next one, barring he does not get a crit, which he gets the freaking Special Defense drop this turn. But I'm only at minus 1 because of my Evil Light, so I know I can take anything from the Special Side if his uh, Sharpedo does tend to carry, but obviously I'm not going to stand. As he goes into the Haunch now, I don't want to stand because I know I cannot take a... um. By a Brave Bird. So I'm gonna switch on to my Suicune, but he actually reveals to be the classic uh, Wall Breaker Honchkrow, which I don't know, I kind of want to try that set out. It looks pretty interesting because I can see why he will go for that because I was at minus one uh, special defense. As he's going to take this opportunity to go for a Brave Bird, and he's just going to die off to the recoil, and thanks to the Stealth Rocks, uh, dealing with this Honchkrow was definitely a whole lot easier than it would have been. So I'm just gonna sleep talk, which I get the rest, which obviously does absolutely nothing. So he's, now he's down to his Victini, and he's down to a Sharpedo as he goes on to Sharpedo. Now again, as long as he does not have Hidden Power Grass, I can live a hit, and I will be able to go for the sleep talk. As unfortunately he gets the minus defense drop with the freaking Crunch. Ah! So much defense is dropping, and I unfortunately pulled the roar, but whatever. So here, here is where the big key play of this battle is. So now here, he's actually gonna go for the Grass Knot when he should have gone for the Psychic. Now, if he had gone for the Psychic, the max damage you could have done on my Porygon 2 was 105, and I'm at 103 HP. So if he had locked himself into Psychic, there was still a probability of me being able to live the Psychic and still recover, but no, he locked himself into Grass Knot. Now I'm positive I can take that, and I'm just gonna recover up the full HP. As next turn, he's gonna go for another Grass Knot, and I'm going to be able to KO the Victini with a Discharge, and I'm obviously going to be able to kill the Sharpedo with a Discharge, and that's going to be the 3-0 in my favor, which this battle could have gone either way when it was down to Suicune against Victini. So, yeah guys, that is going to be the 3 on my favor, I believe I already said. If you enjoyed the battle, uh, make sure to click the like button down there. It's just a second of your time, guys, and it really helps my channel grow. Also, if you want to see some more videos from me, the subscribe button is up there. And as for the question of the day, guys, um... I recently started getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, so if you guys would want to see some duels up on my channel, uh, I can hopefully upload one tomorrow or maybe... Tuesday or so. So, hey guys, uh, comment down down below. And with that, guys, I'm out of here because I gotta go to work in a few minutes. So, fucking like 20 minutes. So, I'm bye.